What's up, guys? Welcome to another Grub and Talk podcast. How's what's everybody up? doing today? What's up? What's up? We're doing good, good, good. good. Yo, Gotta so, be back. I know. Where you been? I know, right? You start back to work. Oh, and then you're about to leave work again, though. I know, probably. <laughs> Cal- as you guys know, California is shut down again. Oh, yeah. On that because nobody's listening. Nobody's wearing their masks. Nobody's doing all that. That stuff they're supposed to do to stop the spread. But anyways, guys, welcome, Monica. How you doing, Monica? Hello, Monica. Good. How are you guys? Good. Good. We good, get good. ready. You ready? Because this, this sometimes we get really aggressive here. It's okay. You I gotta know how to fight deal with aggressive people. De- Whoa. Okay, okay, she's speaking directly up. to you. Oh, Juan, you're aggressive. <laughs> she's I'm like, aggressive? she's like, I don't know. I'm the nicest person here. Oh, I didn't know you're Juan the was one aggressive. who said aggressive. I know. What's going on, guys? What's <laughs> <laughs> so like, like start this again. Hey, guys, how you guys doing? <laughs> Yo, so um, have you guys seen that uh that red table talk on? Oh yeah, it's on everywhere. Yeah. It's everywhere for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, before we get into that, uh, do you guys know the the divorce rate in in the United States of America? Oh, it's about like three point something. <laughs> <laughs> you're actually on there. Uh, it's about yeah, 3.2 per thousand for every thousand or something yeah that's crazy um, I mean my parents are divorced so yeah same damn oh sorry, <laughs> oh, sorry. well oh, we didn't mean for it to get dark yeah. but. <laughs> okay um, but yeah. you guys you guys look like you guys are doing great though so <laughs> yeah, yeah. what is that supposed to mean a lot of kids go through a lot of well, that's true. emotional. That's, that's uh, true. That's true. Though. You know, and it's hard for them sometimes. It's just, I guess, it's the way they put your parents split. Yeah. Yeah. And the way they handle it. But exactly. Freaking on on the red table talk topic. Um, I kind of feel bad for Will. You know, for all the <sighs> stuff too. he had to go through in that video, and all the memes, and all the tweets, and all the. But why do you feel like they 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 gotta put it out there like that? Well, look, I kind of feel bad for them, and then I don't. Because, bro, that's your private life. Why the fuck are you putting it out? But, I mean, he's a celebrity, too. I mean, it's not like you can just hide, you know, from the public your private life. I mean, you can try. Mm -hmm. But Mm -hmm. that doesn't necessarily mean you have to put everything out there. I honestly feel like a lot of people have their publicists. So, the publicists will let them know, hey, like, maybe you should talk about this topic. Because a lot of people need an explanation on this. But Mm -hmm. some people will just be like you know what nobody needs to know my business but, but i think there because she has her show so i yeah, feel like right. it's, that's what it it's is. like she It'll, wanted it to be on there for yeah. a reason that's what it is and, and like the producer like, saying out there he's like the money and the no nah, but <laughs> um, i also think like it, it it has to do with feelings as well and i feel like she's completely done with will and so to her putting on that is just you know views and money and and that's that's kind of why i feel like where is where uh that went you know it's um will still kind of wants it but she's just completely over it done well i mean at the same time they have kids together too you know so. yeah but i mean yeah like it's kind of hard like if you you're gonna base your late i mean if you're gonna base your relationship or we're not gonna split because of the kids i mean yeah. that's kind of hard i mean he had yeah. a previous i think marriage yeah or with well, i mean had, they, they oh, at least have to they, to leave, Tupac, and now they at least have to get along <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. His first trick was to Tupac. Oh, no, same trick. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, it was the same trick. Was it? Same trick? Is, is it? it? I don't know what you're talking I know, about. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't Tupac, know what part. Tupac dated uh, Will Smith's chick, too. Oh, wait, really? Like, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. All these that. artists. Oh, are, damn. Damn, Will, you got something they want. <laughs> <laughs> but why do you think that, you know, she did what she did? Like, what's like, the reason? I feel like um, it's just... I don't know. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. All right. She said, and I quote, You think she's mm-hmm. a, like a predator, bro? Like, oh nah. my God. That's like, what the internet is saying. A lot of people nah. on the internet like, are saying. Minds, but like, she's like, like, dude, if you think about it, like, if you step back and see the situation, like, how it is, she literally, she took this kid that, um, needed to work on himself and he was like damaged and she, she enjoys. He wasn't damaged. He was sick. Whatever. Like it's well, he was <laughs> sick, yes. And um, and she enjoys <laughs> rebuilding people, you know, like. And oh, I see what like, you're saying. Like, that, oh, that's so her, like, like that's people her, that's who that's her drug of choice. Yeah. So like people, well. people in a relationship who like, oh, I have to fix something. So like, yeah. so she didn't have to like. You can fix people, but you don't have to use the panooch to like, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So no, so she you. so she Whoa. like she like 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 got into him and like kind of I feel like forced a relationship with him because a dude come on bro they don't think with their head they think with their <laughs> other head <laughs> and so like dude this this and she knows what she wants bro you can you can yeah. she's, she's uh the inner whole interview she was leading it dude yeah and then one thing she said she was like yo I you know we started helping him out and I started helping him out and then we grow 
a relationship and all. No, I'm sorry, an entanglement. Entanglement. Um, dude, in that part, you should have seen Will's face. He was just like, shouldn't have brought that fool over. Because <laughs> he's the one that brought him into yeah, the family. Yeah, and, and then, that, and then her, her whole thing was, oh, I, I wanted to fix myself too. But, you like, know, but like, I, what, re, like, you know, she said, oh, I want to fix myself. But so you're trying to fix someone, but you need to fix yourself too. Like, fix yourself know. first, you know, like, take care of yourself first. Yeah, yeah it's like, how yeah. are you going to help somebody else if you're the person that needs to, needs to help? And then she was like, well, doing that, I discovered I need to help. What the, okay, first of all, first of all, if you're not happy, who the who who knows you're not happy? Your fucking self. Yeah. Okay, it's like oh, so I needed this, this, and this, and this I happened think, to figure it out. Like I think they're just like she's just trying to like um like diet just diet. justify things so she so she's not in the wrong. Like I think that's what like a predator does. They they they, <laughs> they <laughs> really keep using that word. Predator, they, 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 <laughs> they, know, like, they they make light, will. they make a light of dark situations so they they they're not to blame and they like. You know, the way she was very, like, her her hand gestures, she was like, I come in peace type of thing. And, like, her everything that she would say, Will tried to correct her. And she was like, no, it was it, it's entangled. Well, because everyone has their own title to what is going on. Just, like, DTR, determining the relationship. A lot of people don't do that. And I feel like in... Um, Wait, whoa, 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 go back. What the hell is DTR? Oh, I get... Like, when you first start a relationship? Yeah, like, when you're... Tell first someone what someone. you expect. Exactly. Like, what you don't want. Be on the same want, level. Like, you know? talk about it. Because... Um, well, he, I mean, that's... that's like, what the I feel, like, I feel like that's... that's Look at one's face, guys. Look at one's face. I feel like <laughs> that's what the, the dating period so is about. Discovery, like, you, you, know? you just don't be like... Oh, oh hi, like, my name is Daniel. Oh, no, 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 we're no, boyfriend no, and girlfriend. No, no, no. Like, that's, that's, what, no. that's what she's saying. That's yeah. what she's saying. Like when you're first together, do that. Okay, Don't yeah, wait yeah. like exactly. years later. Oh, like yeah, in well, that's the whole point of dating. Yeah, but you know, the thing, yeah. the thing is that like the you'll, person, you'll like, never fully know another person, you know, until you actually you know, live with them. Until you go through it. No, but even though you live with them and you're married with them for like ninety years, you're still gonna keep. You're discovering new things every day, and that's the joy. That's the joy of being in relationships. Yeah. So what the fuck you mean like DTR right in front? No. No, no, not no. up front. I never said up front, <laughs> first of all. Oh, oh. oh. Her tone is like, dirt. So yes. one is no the aggressive more. one. <laughs> no. Okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. I was warning you guys about Monica, guys. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, we should have gave her a trigger warning about one. <laughs> oh my God. We should okay. have like a, a new thing that says, uh, like a little thing at the bottom, trigger warning. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, let her speak. Like, let her speak. <laughs> um, let her posture. Let her posture. She's like. Well, I told you guys. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, here, Albert. Hey, hey, oh, how you doing? Oh, oh. Good <laughs> job. All right, sorry. Go for it. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. Okay, so DTR is basically determine the relationship, and that I think they didn't communicate that in the beginning. So I feel like he might have gotten the feeling, okay, this is a relationship because I'm giving so much of my love and I'm Wait, giving who, so much who, of my love. Wait, who? Who Oh, okay. Uh, I think August did that, and so for her, it was like I'm still in a partnership. I'm still going through this. We're separated right now, but I don't want it. Want to call it a relationship? So okay. she called it an entanglement because it was easier for her to be like to like, justify. And then again, like a lot of people use situationship for some of those re- type of relationships, mm-hmm. and I just personally don't think she n- knows that term. Nah, bro. You know what I think? Honestly, I get it. Wh- I-, I get what you're saying, but she fucked up. Or maybe she doesn't seem like a fuck up, but she didn't want to call it a relationship because she didn't want to be too too deep in the hole where she couldn't fucking get herself no, out. No, uh, she didn't want to. She didn't want. I feel like she didn't want to call it a relationship because she didn't want to be at fault or be the blame. So if she like the home wrecker, like if she was like, okay, it was a relationship, then it was like, you know, yeah, uh, I fucked up. But mm-hmm. she doesn't want to admit that, so it was an entanglement. Like she she wanted for sure. Like she oh wanted yeah, for she sure. knows what she's and, doing. And, but like she wanted for sure, but she just like. One one part of her brain was like, yeah, for sure. And then one part of her brain was like, yo, if I if I call this shit a relationship where you know it goes too deep, I can get fucked. I can be called a home record. This well, I mean, uh, she did just uh, she did say it was a, a relationship at the, well, end, at the yeah. end because mm-hmm. Will was like, bro, come on, yeah, yeah. like who who you lying to? Yeah, mm-hmm. but, but why do you, I, why do you think it took four years to like come out? Well, I mean, first of all, like if, if like say what it came out, you know, obviously we're not in the shoes, we don't live the lives they do, you know, but dude. People can say whatever the fuck you want. It's your your internal relationship, you know? That's why I think a lot of people now don't last like people before, you know? And I'm not talking about, like, the, the people, like, the dudes that hit their wives and were rapists and bullshit like that. Don't no, fuck all you guys, you know? But, yeah, if you um, get beat, dip, man. <laughs> you know, but, like, the people that actually treat each other with respect, with love, and care, you know? And now, like, it, fuck, dude, like, when, when people say, like, 
oh, I've been married for 27 years. I'm like, fuck, rare. Congratulations. You know, uh, That's hey, awesome. I, I've, been, I've, been, yeah. I've been married for 60 years. Fuck, rare. You know, but we, why do you think people don't stay married as long anymore? Like, why do you it's think? Because easier to quit. They're like. They're they just, just give up, right? And then I also feel like it has to come back to self-love. Like, I feel a lot of people get into oh. relationships because they want to find happiness from someone else. But, but you can't ready. find You can't find happiness from someone else. You have to be happy within, within yourself, yourself first. And then that's how you grow together. And you continue um, empowering each other instead right. of being like, oh, I'm going to be with this person and they're going to give me everything I want and they're going to make instead me happy. Of, yeah. So, the, qu- so where the, the question is, where did it cross over? Where it went from... Where it went from like okay, I bring love, this to the table. Like, I bring this to the table. We, you know, to those type of relationships. To hey, I need somebody to make me happy. Where, where in you know, where in time did it cross over? Where someone, it someone got the upper hand. Well, you mean in their case? Yeah. No, like not, oh, not in, general, in general. In general. In general, because before, like, I think it's when someone know. gets like the upper hand in the relationship is where that happens. Meaning, like, so you got caught texting a girl or like talking to another girl now the now the woman has the upper hand i think it's all about communication honestly oh yeah yeah. if you don't have communication it's 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 a rough relationship Mm -hmm. and if there's no trust there's basically no 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 fucking. oh especially the trust part no what what about like what about like um pressure of society in where now you have like instagram twitter all that stuff social media you you see all these people's lives oh my god they're so amazing but they're they're inside their crap yeah like, it's just it's just a image that you put exactly. out there it's, now, it's not sure. like really you and now now, you know. now 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 you're now now you have a false narrative i've never thought i was going to say that false <laughs> narrative of what a marriage should be what that uh, so what your couple standards should be yeah. when that's not it it's like it's you know it's you and that person's life together you guys do what the fuck you guys want to do about right. it you know don't mm-hmm. don't follow other people's shit mm-hmm. because when you follow other people's shit then like now you just get sidetracked. Ooh, yeah. Oh, we should do this. We should do that. Mm-hmm. Now you're just living for the gram, or you're just living oh, yeah. for yeah. for the for the cloud. for something that seems cool, but is not. Mm-hmm. I mean, it doesn't. It, you don't well, get any advantage. I mean, and- yeah, I mean, I I, I agree <clears throat> with that. I think I think with social media, the whole relationship thing, it's a it's a competition in people oh, as yeah. well. Yeah. I think you know, as a couple, find things you both enjoy and find things oh. that maybe the other person likes and maybe you never tried and tried together. You know, don't don't f- force. I think right. you were talking about something like this earlier. Like, don't force something on someone just because you like it. You know, make sure that you're doing it because you enjoy it or because it makes your partner happy. Exactly. You know? right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, yeah, if, if, if for example, you're you know, the person, you know, you're, you're dating or you're married or whatever, you know, um, you do something and, you know, they they try to do it just, you know, to make you happy. I, I honestly, I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, for mm-hmm. example, like, um, mm-hmm. like if, if like somebody, you know, for example, you know, the girl likes dancing. The guy doesn't like dancing, but he fucking tries. Yeah, he tries. Yeah. Like, like. That's that, all that, girls I, ask I, for, I, guys. That, yeah. All yeah. girls want is for you to try. Yeah, okay. That, that, that's that, it. That, that was. That's, that's, it. What you, uh, that's not what you mean, right? About forcing, like. What, what is it exactly that like, you mean by forcing like like a, you know like, kind like, of like an arranged marriage like okay boom boom, boom we're gonna get married kind of thing kind like of that? but more like the childish kind of mentality in a relationship like you know like the high school stuff like yeah. oh i have to do this because he likes this or she or, likes or this we can't, or, or we can't break up because you know we're gonna look like we said we posted that we're gonna be on yeah, yeah it's a very like like, mm-hmm. like childish oh what are people gonna think yeah of, like definitely. instagram it's, whatever it's, yeah it's bad that's bad. <laughs> okay, I I kind of I kind of understand I understand oh, yeah, what you're you. saying uh, uh, regarding like the forcing, but I mean not not <clears throat> everybody has that childish mentality, you know. Oh not, no, not everybody yeah. not everybody comes with like the half glass full mm-hmm. into a relationship. Some people actually come in like strong, and but other people do come in, you know, where they're like, you know, I need that other person to feel love. I need I, I need that person, you know, See, to to make me happy. That's which, not gonna yeah. work out. And I think that's like the whole grow thing too. Yeah. Like first, like we discussed, you have to love yourself. Exactly. And if you find someone who also is in that same category, yeah. same yeah. field level, same level of, yeah. of loving their self and they're comfortable with themselves. You're just going to grow. You're just going to grow together. Mm-hmm. It's going to be <clears throat> so much easier if you already both like yourself. It, it, exactly. It, it, it's true. But now we live in an era where everybody's hurt. Everybody's been hurt, or it's and, 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 and super sensitive, and everything is justified as you can do it now. It's okay, it's okay, you know. And where I, I think it's just making people 
bitches, little weird, like lazy. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, like, like explain um, more, please. For example, like, you know, um, what I mean, like people have been like a lot of people are hurt and that's true because now a lot of people, they just want to play. They don't, they're they're not into being committed. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not into like, oh yeah. You know, they'll they'll sweet talk you. They'll be like, yeah, you know, you're not going to be forever, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you got 10 other girls, you know, kind of thing like that. So now, now the girl ends up getting hurt. Okay. So now the girl Mm -hmm. has trust issues. She's not, uh, she's not confident. It, It goes two ways. Okay, she rebuilds herself, but mm-hmm. well, she goes out there and she fucking plays too, and yeah. she plays dudes. Now, now this dude is into her, blah 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 blah. But she has ten other dudes on the side. Mm-hmm. Now this dude's hurt. Now everybody's fucking hurt. Okay, so that that's what I mean by like everybody's that's, like that's the game. I think that's that's, I think that's the whole. I don't necessarily not weak, sorry, uh, I, hurt. I don't think it's necessarily hurt. Yeah. I, I think it comes back to the whole growing. You learn from your past experiences, right? Like in any kind of relationship, platonic, whatever family, friends, relationship, romantic relationships, you learn from the mistakes that you make right. and the experiences you have to become even more of yourself, yeah. to, to become better, to to read the red flags of a toxic mm. or any kind of relationship, you know? Right. And I think that's the thing. Every relationship that you have the next time, like you say even a new friendship, you know what not to look for in a friendship, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, okay, you know, I see, mm, I don't really like what they're doing. I don't think I can be friends with them, you yeah. know? Like, I think you really have to acknowledge that in the beginning. Mm-hmm. You know, read the signs in the beginning yeah. if you can. Sometimes people, they change randomly. Yeah. Like, and it's all of a sudden you've been married maybe 10 years and all of a sudden they turn into this new person. You're like, yeah, what? I see what? That. What? I you see hear that. that. You hear that all the time in marriages. I see it, that. They're like, oh, we were so happy, you know, the first couple of years. And then all of a sudden they turn into this, you know, person I don't even know anymore. And right. I think that's a very fearful thing that people fear in a relationship yeah. but yeah. there's always mm-hmm. explanations there's always reasons oh, I, oh, why yeah. stuff like that happens it's just the, and i feel the, like a lot of a lot of times people are just lazy mm-hmm. like you know, what way? and it's the communication it comes too. back to the communication well, thing too like yeah. communication look i feel that there's simple fucking principles you treat the other person with respect you treat them with love mm-hmm. you know and you always you, you always have their best in mind yeah mm-hmm. okay those simple little things you know yeah and for example respect Respect means, you know, you treat them correct. You don't do wrong to them. You know, for example, somebody wants to talk to you as a friend. That's cool. But when you see something like, hey, this, this thing's turning a little left side. They want more than a friend. You fucking cut them off. Why? Because you have somebody you have somebody that that's with you, you know, that, that you value and cherish and you love. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and I and when you lose, I think when you lose some of those ingredients, that's where all of a sudden people tur- start turning different. Oh, yeah. Oh, all of a sudden, like out of the blue. No, it's, it's not out of the blue. Shit, it's, shit was happening. You just didn't see it. It's yeah. just yeah. in the background. Yeah. That it's like festering. It's manifesting. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden it comes to light. And but I, it's been happening. And I it's think with women, going on. with women, it's like as soon as they put, they have it in their mind, it's like it's slowly working. And before you know it. It's like they already made up their mind, but outside it looks like it just happened. But in reality, think, it's been happening. I mean, as as women, I think we can testify to this. Like, we we try to you discover. Yeah, you yeah, <laughs> like 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 that is so true. I mean, sure, you can put on a smile, you can put on a brave face, but mm-hmm. you know, sometimes you do hurt inside. Sometimes you feel anger, you feel like upset about something, or tired. and you just or tired, and you just you know you pretend like oh yeah I'm good. I'm good, you know, you're just to emotionally checked out. But wh- why do but that? You're like, a, like, if you're, why not communicate? If you, okay, and I mean, and, I'm and, guilty. And, and I'm feel, guilty of doing that too. And I sometimes, feel that honestly, the reason you don't communicate is because you are no longer interested in that person. No, you no longer care or value that sometimes, person. Sometimes, sometimes, or it's to, or it's we don't want to put our our sadness or emotion on you. But that that's that's what it is but, sometimes too. It depends but on. But that doesn't matter though, because you're in a relationship. You're supposed to communicate, mm-hmm. you know, issues. The reason shit blows up. But is then, because, oh no, that's what that's, that's my whole point. Hang on, that's my whole point. Is if 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 anybody uh in a relationship on either side feels that way where they can't express themselves, that's the problem right there. If yeah. they don't feel com- yeah, what I'm saying enough. is is I don't like doing it, but I have in the past. Mm-hmm. But if you're not comfortable to share your emotion and feelings with that your significant other, there's a problem there. Yeah. Look at that. Why is that? You yeah. know, that's the whole issue right there. I, and yeah. I agree. Yeah, I agree. If you don't feel comfortable, I mean, but why though? If you chose that person for a reason, why is it that you're not like? That's where you kind of like you uh, as a person. I would not just you, you know you, but mm-hmm. like anybody needs mm-hmm. to take a step back. Like why? 
What's stopping you from it? And and I and I again I go back to like where you if you value that person and you really care about that person and you want to be with that person, you're gonna do anything fucking possible to understand why oh, yeah. that why that's happening mm-hmm. and how you can move forward. But if you don't, then you're not gonna do it. And that's where that laziness comes in. And that's where you really also have to consider: is this gonna continue? Should I just end it yeah. here? The long if, term. If, if 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 this is happening now. How is it going to look like in three years? How is it going to look like in 10 years? Like, be happy with, again, be happy with yourself. You know, mm-hmm. if something isn't working for you and you've tried it, you've tried to manage it, you've, you know, you've tried to talk it out. It's just sometimes things don't work. Yeah. Yeah, you things don't do work like out. Band-aid, you got to move on. Rip it off. Mm-hmm. You can't yeah. slowly tear it off. You just got to. For your own yeah. mental health sake. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Hey, that, that, that's true. And, you know, which a lot of people don't quit just to not quit, you know, and um, which is bad because you're just damaging both yeah each other, there, there's know? like mm-hmm. an image online it, it was like he's he has a rope around his arm and he's whole he's like struggling to to hold on like a leash but um i think it's a rope but like the other person is trying is like trying to let go but this person is like holding on so hard that it's like ri- like bleeding mm. and it's like he was holding on for no reason like well yeah i mean you could see it like that because now that's justified but yeah. Maybe there was a fucking reason to hold on Cause because it, they don't. What the, I think the only reason is like they don't like change. Well, that that's the thing. Like, see, I, then I go back. Sorry, I do agree a little bit, but then I I don't because honestly, like you gotta be straight up. Like, yo, if you like this person, you're gonna go. You know, you're gonna go fucking move heaven and earth. Heaven and earth. Yeah, but right. If, if you if you're ready to fucking you know screw somebody else, cheat or or move on. Just Any little it. thing they say, boom, let's go. You know, it's like mm-hmm. like I was having a conversation with, uh, with, with my best friend, and he was like, "Bro, he's like, if I'm talking to this girl, okay, and I can tell her, I can tell her heaven and earth, you know, I can tell her this, this, and this, and that. But she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I, if I, if I'm on her ear and I'm telling her this, and she wants to, it's gonna go down. Right. You know? Yeah. And, and, if she, and he's like, that's because that person wants it. If she doesn't want to. She's going to cut me off right away because she values and cherishes what she has. Mm-hmm. If she doesn't cut me off, it's because she don't give a fuck what she got. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and, that, and that's where it's true. It's like, like if you're a fucking lazy ass dater and lazy ass, you know, um, person that doesn't want to try because you really don't care, just fucking cut it off because mm-hmm. you're going to save so much time for that and, other person. And hurt yeah. for the other person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I'm a firm believer. I always have been this way. Put as much effort that you want the other person to put right correct but then you, you know? can't expect no no no. that's the whole yeah, thing yeah too. you should yeah. expect do it because you want to out of your heart do it out of your heart don't do it because you expect something in return yeah. do it because you want to and then also i'm a strong and if they and if they do something back if they if they do a little whatever back awesome. great thank you yeah. you know say thank you and i'm I, also I, and that's even like gift giving in general too i love that because it's very mm-hmm. simple and i'm also like a firm believer about like um what like say you you had this relationship and it didn't work out mm-hmm. well it's okay you know it's okay not everything's meant for uh Learn ever. from your mistake and you just mm-hmm. grab what you learned the most valuable things of it and you move on and you grow with it you know you don't yeah. you don't you don't you know it, it, went, it went sour hateful. so you're not gonna try to bring that person down and do like a whole mm-hmm. fucking social yeah. war like it's none of people's business just say right. you know it didn't work out you know we've moved on yeah you know? and, and that's where we go back to will and jada like bruh you know that that shit happened okay you know it happened. did it happen did it not okay great well now we know because they fucking clarified it but uh-huh. i mean yeah. I mean, nobody needs to know. Nobody needs to know. They don't know any, anybody. Anything. They don't. It's, they don't. Yeah. You know? They don't owe anybody the right. explanation, but they did. Yeah. They they did it because they wanted. They did you it know? for the cloud. They did it, it for the cash. Uh, whatever, the reasons, whatever, <laughs> uh, whatever the reasons. Whatever. Whatever the reasons they did come forward. The uh, you know, they felt like they needed to. It was for their yeah. best interest. Yeah. Right. It was for right. their best whichever, interest. Whichever, whichever their interest is. If it's whatever the interest is, it is. You know, it is because yeah. they they needed to or wanted to. For sure. For sure. Well, guys. It was a dope ass 
Yes, sir. Rug and Talk yes, Podcast. Sir. Monica, we're going to see you. Thank you, Monica. More. You're Thank awesome. Thank you. Thank you for coming uh, on. Guys, please like, share, and subscribe. We're at 100. I mean, 81. Oh, I wish we were 100. We're at 81 subscribers. We're at 19. Hey, let's just say 100 and it will happen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're at 100. Yeah, we're at 100. Guys, so let's make it happen. Keep going. <laughs> Keep that button. Press that like. Smash guys. it, comment, smash it, Comment down below. See you guys on the next Grub and Talk Podcast. Let's go. We'll be out in five, four, three, two, doom, doom. <laughs> 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 <laughs>